Well, let's let, let, let's talk about that. They just yeah. the, the grade of meat because again, if you read. Um, you know, whatever, it was Aaron Franklin or Steve yeah. Reichelin, I remember, they're kind of like, you know, you don't need to necessarily do prime with brisket choices. I mean, I think Aaron Franklin, for the most part, does choice. I mean, do you find that there, do you really should steer more towards the prime? or? The, I like the prime. I think you get a better end product, a little bit more moisture and a, and a little better texture. Okay. Um, it's definitely workable with a choice. Mm. You definitely can get the same product. Mm. Um, to me, it just, there's a line where you go from done to overdone mm. very quickly on a choice oh. because there's not as much fat. Okay. So you have maybe a 20 minute window to catch that being done. Oh wow. We're on a prime, I've got a 30 to 40 minute window where it's still gonna be great even if I catch it towards the end of that window. Mm. And the Wagyu has an hour and a half. I mean, I it's, yeah, yeah, so you're, you're doing you're low playing and slow. With, yeah. You're playing with a larger margin uh, yeah. of error, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. And I think Definitely. actually that was the problem I had this weekend. Um, I didn't use a full packer. I used a butcher's cut, which has, you know, I think the whole deckel is, is, is taken off. Yeah, it's just the, a flat. The flat on And, the um, gone, yeah. yeah, I mean, this, the mar you know, the margin of error shortens up quite yeah, a bit. Definitely. Um, yeah. So, uh, you know, the problem is with a full pack of brisket, if I'm only cooking for my family or a few friends, 14 pounds of meat, that's the, uh, and I guess there's going to have to be a lot of leftovers then. Or, yeah, <laughs> that's right. Or serve people yeah. with, with healthy appetites. 